What's going on Wave Gang? John Stessel here and welcome back to my channel. So I just got a text from my good friend Max Major and uh, I'll put it somewhere on the screen but somebody asked him if he knows me and uh, if he could tell me to do some cardistry tutorials. So uh, I'm gonna call Max's bluff and whoever DM'd him and we're gonna do tutorials. So one move that I've had in my arsenal for a while that I've been meaning to teach, it's one of my favorite things uh, to play with, to do, it's really cool and visual, is this move right here called turntable. It allows you to spin a card with another card, kind of like a turntable would spin an actual record. So instead of me talking, let's see turntable and let's learn it. Hey everyone, at this point you've seen Turntable in all of her beautiful glory and now it's time to learn the move. Well, first things first, it's important to know that I am a left-handed magician, meaning I hold the deck in my right hand. So if you are a righty and hold it in the left hand, make sure that you mimic the actions that I do. So the way to do Turntable is honestly quite simple. It's very knacky, but it's simple to do. What you do is you take the top card and turn it face up. You're gonna hold the top card by the left thumb right at the corner just like this and you're only gonna hold it with two fingers because you're gonna need all this surface area next you're gonna take the top card of the deck and push it over to your ring finger just like this until it balances on your ring finger so right now I could technically throw the deck away because you're gonna be holding it on your ring finger like this so let's get the deck back up Push the, card, the top card over to your ring finger and hold it just with your ring finger. Next, you're gonna take the top card and place it right on top, right about at the midpoint. So, about halfway down from the top of the card and halfway from the middle. Next, you're gonna move that card over to your nail, which is going to create less friction and allow that card to rotate. Now, this is pretty much the basic mechanics of turntable. The way that you're able to spin it and control it is very knacky, but all that you do is once you get it on your nail, you're going to slowly tilt your uh, deck hand downward and push this card downward in the opposite direction, which will allow you to control that card. You're also gonna wanna move your wrist around, and which is gonna allow you to actually rotate that card kind of just like this. All right, let's go over the shoulders so you can see the work from above. Now that I have my point of view rig on, we can actually learn this move nice and clean. Also, big shout out to BCA for hooking me up with this deck. They are sweet. All right, anyway, so here's the idea. To do turntable, you need to turn top card face up. You want it to have a little bend in it, so I'm gonna put a little tiny bend. That's all you need. Then, with the top card on your deck hand, you're gonna wanna push it over so that your ring finger, this finger right here, contacts the middle of the card. So right now, I can let that go and that is balanced on my ring finger. So ring finger, push over with your thumb to your ring finger and let that card balance there. Next, you're gonna come over with this ace or the top card face up and press it against the middle of the card and have that face down card contact your nail of your ring finger. So no longer the finger bed, but the nail. That's gonna create a frictionless contact which will allow the card to move. Once you have no friction here, all you have to do is spin in a small circle I go counterclockwise, but clockwise may also work. And with your bottom hand, you just twist and make a little circle as well. This will allow the card to spin. And that is pretty much the basic mechanics of turntable. I'll do it nice and slow that you can see it again. Hopefully now you have the idea of how the move operates. 
But one last time, turn the card over, push the top card onto your ring finger in the dead center, make contact with the top face up card halfway down, then bring the card from what was your finger bed to your finger nail, which will create a frictionless contact and will allow you to rotate that card. So all in one action, turn over to the ring finger, let it balance, press up to the fingernail, frictionless contact and spin the card around. And that is how you accomplish turntable. It's a pretty fun move and I hope you guys all get some use out of it because it's a pretty cool move, especially when you can land it unlike that attempt. Yeah, enjoy yourself guys. So that pretty much wraps up the tutorial for turntable. It's a super easy move to grasp. It's difficult to learn because it's very knacky, but to understand the mechanics, it's really simple. The key is that you hold one card face up, you balance the other one on your middle finger, you make contact in the center of the card, you switch it over to the bed of your nail, and then you're able, you're able to then rotate that card around in a little circle, just like that. And that's pretty much the mechanics on turntable. Now that you've learned Turntable, I'm going to show you a free combo that you can put together using all the tutorials on my channel. So I'll leave the links in the description, but it looks like this. First, you start off with Ferris Wheel, a five packet cut. Then you break into Crest, which is a one card move sliding down the back of your hand. And then you end doing Turntable, the one card spin. And then you wrap the whole cut up. And that is a very simple combo you can learn for free right now on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy Turntable. It's a really smooth move. And that's it. If you guys like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a ton of tutorials, magic reviews. I've got my one series where I go through antique magic apparatuses. And yeah, we're going to be doing tons of cool stuff here on this channel. If you have any questions about this move and how to do it and make it work for you, leave them in the comments. I'm going to be answering everybody's comments. So hopefully this helps. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being a part of the Wave Gang. Cheers, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Whoa.